Are you tired of doing the same old lunge? Today we are going to show you a few variations that will challenge your lunge pattern. I'm Corey Boggs, personal trainer at Benefit Fitness. And I'm Brad Boggs, the owner of Benefit Fitness, and I'm also a personal trainer. Here at Benefit Fitness, we are all about educating and teaching you while you're on your fitness journey, whatever that is. So we have exercise tip videos like this. We have nutritional tip videos. We also have a lot of workouts for you. So definitely check out the, those other videos. You know what? Let's quit talk. Stop talking. Stop talking, Brad. Stop talking because I'm having trouble talking. <laughs> and let's jump right into it. All right, we're all about lunges today. We're gonna to teach you some other ways to do lunges instead of your normal standard forward lunge, backward lunge. We all know how to do lunges, at least I hope so. Or if you don't know how to do lunges, let us know in the comments below and we'll show you how to do a lunge. Anyway, I know my clients hate lunging or don't love lunging. Maybe Corey's clients don't love They're a love challenging lunging. movement for most people. People just don't like lunges but they're, in, they're great to do, you need to do them, especially to incorporate with your hinging movements, with your squatting movements. You know, how often are you, when you walk, are you standing on both legs at the same time? As you walk, as I walk forward, as you can even see my feet, you're always standing on that one foot, which is, correlates really well to a lunge. So let's teach you some different ways to lunge using, wondering why we have these little yeah, round you, thingies. We already showed you how to do a push up with the slider. Now we're gonna show you how to do some lunges with the slider. Which All are right. really great. No or, lunges, no lunges first. I mean, no sliders first. Brad is going to turn sideways and he's going to show you a traditional reverse lunge, backwards lunge. So he's gonna lunge backwards and together. When you lunge backwards, you need to really focus on the weight on the forward leg. Too often my clients, when they lunge backwards, their weight comes back into this leg and they drive up with that back leg, really focusing on their knee and their quad. So to make sure that we're using our front leg, I'm gonna get rid of my slider, we don't need two, we only need one. He's gonna use a slider, he's gonna put it on um, his back leg, the leg that he's going to slide backwards with. So he's going to slide back, but keep his weight over his front leg. So he slides back, pause at the bottom for me, Brad. When he pauses, you wanna make sure that we have about 90 degree angles with his, with his body. So let's pull this one in a little bit, Brad. Let's do it again, slide it in. Good, and then slide it up. So when you do this, his weight is staying over the front leg, sliding in. So not much weight is on that back leg. If he does, he's gonna start feeling pain, tension in that knee. So let's get rid of the slider, Brad, and let's show them a forward lunge. So he's gonna lunge forward, press back. So again, in this position, you wanna make sure that your weight stays over the forward leg. So Brad's gonna lunge forward and stay there for a minute. So he's gonna lunge forward, stay at the bottom. Good, and when, when he presses back, he has to almost push and pull with this left side. Excuse me, and he's gonna have to really use his glute and his hamstring to pull into it. Activate your muscles slightly differently, because often forward lunges, do a few more for them, Brad, while I'm talking so they can watch you. Often forward lunges, people end up putting too much pressure in the top of their knee because they're pushing their weight too far forward. In that lunge, if you slide too far forward, you're just gonna slide into the splits, which we don't want to happen. Great, that's plenty, Brad. I'm sure he's getting tired in those lunges. So I'm gonna have Brad do a lateral lunge now for you. When he does his lateral lunge, he's gonna step to the side, making sure his toes are still pointed forward, the weight in his heel, knees forward. Okay, let's do about two or three, Brad, just to show them what that looks like. Your other leg stays straight. If your hips are super tight, it might be a bit of a challenge. Now let's show them one incorrectly, Brad, with your toe out, knee out. Good, that's not what's supposed to happen. You're gonna end up just sliding too far to the side. So what Brad is going to do now, so instead of stepping to the side and stepping back, we're gonna add a little bit of a different challenge. So Brad is going to step with the leg that does not have the, the slider on it. So he's gonna step into his lunge and pause. Now he's gonna shift his weight into this leg and as he presses up, he has to use his inner thighs to zip those thighs together and then he'll go in the other direction. 
weight over on the other leg. So, a little bit tougher. You'll notice though too, <laughs> so the reason that happened is because Brad stepped too far to the side. Mm -hmm. If you step too deep, you're not gonna have your weight over that leg that will allow you to push up into your lunge. So let's do a couple more, Brad. So you weight over this leg, and then he's gonna drive and pull his legs together. And one more, let's show them. Good quality movement and zip it together. So, great. Those are three different ways that you can challenge your lunges. If using a slider is still super simple for you, add some weight, hold some dumbbells, put a backpack on your back, maybe do an overhead, hold a weight overhead. Tons of ways that you can challenge if you don't have heavy weights. So hopefully you can go home and try. Oh, also, we forgot to mention, if you don't have a slider, yeah. you don't have to use a slider. You can use, use your so sock. Sock, towel. Can, yep, you can, use, you can just keep your, um, take off your shoes and just use your socks. Put a towel under your foot, a paper plate under your foot, any type of thing that you can slip and slide on the floor. So hopefully you got some good takeaways. Remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video if you did. Check out our other videos. We've got some tons of other workouts. You can work out with me, you can work out with Brad. Our daughter every <laughs> once in a while she jumps shows in up. and says hello. <clears throat> Let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, we'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you for everybody who does comment. Um, like I said, we'd love hearing from you. So definitely comment if you have any questions. Great. And We'll see you again. We'll see you next time.